Hello Windows 8 and 8.1 users. This is going to be a very quick simple tutorial showing you how to get back the Skype you had on Windows 7. When you buy Windows 8 or 8.1, it's pre-installed with this Skype right here, this application from the start menu. This application is not that great. You can't log out, it's hard to navigate through, and something as simple as editing your profile picture or profile information is complicated. So all we're going to do is we're going to right click on this application and we're going to click uninstall and confirm it. So now you've removed Skype. What you want to do from here is you want to go to your desktop and you want to go to this link and you can type it in, you can get to it from Google, but I'm just going to uh, bring it up here to save you some time because this link will be in the description and you just have to go to this link and we'll go there right now. And it is there we go. All right, I just booted up my computer, so it might be a little slow here. Okay, cool. So this is Skype for Windows Desktop, meaning it launches from the desktop just like Windows 7 did, and it's the exact same as the Windows 7 version. Um, it is the Windows 7 version. So yeah, you you just click Get Skype for Windows Desktop and it should start downloading immediately. If not, you click here, but as you can see, it's already downloading. There's a, well, it's already ready to go. So you just click that and install it. And uh, of course you gotta uh, agree to all that. I'm gonna, I don't want MSN as my homepage or do I want to use Bing, so I'll uncheck those and then wait for it to be installed. And uh, this will allow you to finally log out or switch accounts with ease or edit your profile with ease and not have to worry about accessing Skype from the start menu at all because yeah that's not that great. One of the main reasons I didn't like Windows 8 or 8.1 so much aside from them removing the start button was the applications. So this is a good way to substitute that and get the most out of it. I'm just going to pause this until it's done. Alright, so it's loading up now, and as you can see, it is the, never mind my name there, that's inappropriate, but this, <laughs> as you can see, this is the Windows 7 Skype application, and it, oh, it works perfectly, just like, um, just like it did on, uh, good old Windows 7, so, yeah, that's all you gotta do, and now, you are set to go, so, Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please like, comment, and even subscribe if it helped you. It is 6 a.m. and I have to go to sleep now. So, thank you for watching.